Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. It is finally official. Major League Baseball is back for the summer of 2020. We're going to get into the details here in a second. This is absolutely unbelievable. I was just thinking... Throughout the last three to four months, I've put up a video pretty much every single time there's been a proposal or a counter proposal. And when I first started doing this, I said, I'll probably have to do this, I don't know, maybe two, three, four times. I think I put up 20 videos. Can anyone go back and check and see how many videos I had to put up just to talk about the negotiations here? Absolutely incredible. Unbelievable. Can't believe it. But finally, they got it done. I don't know if they got it done. I mean, I guess they got it done. They were kind of forced to get it done, but they got it done. Major League Baseball, the Players Union have come together and agreed on the health protocols and also a report date for spring training. Let's get into all the details right now. Okay, so my boy Jeff Passan tweets out, opening day, July 23rd or 24th, season 60 games, location, home ballparks, Health and safety, MLB's foremost priorities. Then we have the MLBPA communications tweet out. All remaining issues have been resolved and players are reporting to training camps. Then we get an official announcement by MLB announcing the 2020 regular season. Players to report to training by July 1st ahead of baseball's July 23rd, 24th openers. MOE plans to schedule 60 game regular season. Commissioner of Baseball Robert D. Manfred Jr. announced today that Major League Baseball anticipates beginning its 2020 regular season approximately one month from today on July 23rd or July 24th. The announcement follows confirmation today that the MLB Players Association has accepted the health and safety protocols that will guide MLB's return to play and that players will be able to report for spring training by July 1st. The health and safety of players and employees will remain MLB's foremost priorities in its return to play. MLB is working with a variety of public health experts, infectious disease specialists, and technology providers on a comprehensive approach that aims to facilitate a safe return. MLB has submitted a 60-game regular season schedule for review by the Players Association. The proposed schedule will largely feature divisional play, with the remaining portion of each club's games against their opposite league's corresponding geographical division, i.e. East vs. East, Central vs. Central, West vs. West. In order to mitigate travel, the vast majority of Major League clubs are expected to conduct training at the ballparks in their primary home cities. Commissioner Manfred said, Major League Baseball is thrilled to announce that the 2020 season is on the horizon. We have provided the Players Association with a schedule to play 60 games and are expected to provide our great fans with baseball soon again. Okay, now let's look into the details here. Bob Nightingale with USA Today provided a bunch of details on the season. He said, health protocol. Players on opposite teams should not socialize, fraternize, or come within six feet of each other before the game, during warm-ups, in between innings, or after the game. MLB agrees to union's proposal in health safety protocol that all players who cohabitate with a high-risk individual, including a pregnant spouse, has the right to opt out and be paid with service time. Previously, it was only high-risk players who could opt out and still be paid. Now, there are a couple of players that fall into this grouping. I believe Mike Trout is one of them. I believe his wife is pregnant right now, so it'll be interesting what happens with these players. Players told they will need to report the spring training before July 1st so they can undergo COVID-19 testing. The union now simply is waiting for MLB to provide a 2020 schedule, which is expected to be completed in the next 72 hours. All clubs are required to stagger the arrival times of their players to avoid everyone arriving at once. For the first time in 103 days, players will be officially returning to their spring training camps, only this time in their home cities. There will be a DH in the National League for the first time. All extra inning games will start with the runner on second base beginning in the 10th. Spring training will officially begin July 3rd after COVID-19 test with players arriving no later than July 1st. The season is scheduled to start July 24th with the regular season ending September 27th. The health and protocol agreement also allows all players high risk or not to opt out for the season. However, those players who aren't high risk 
or living with a high-risk person or his pregnant spouse would not be paid. Then a little bit of bad news says, oh no, just when MLB officially announces 60 game season, Rockies all-star outfielder Charlie Blackman and two of his teammates test positive for COVID-19 at Coors Field. Clubs are allowed to invite up to 60 players to their spring training camps. Hey, maybe I'll go. MLB has the right to relocate teams during the regular season to neutral sites for health and safety reasons, including the postseason. Players will be prohibited from arriving more than five hours before game time and staying longer than 90 minutes after the game. Uh, typically, for a 7 o'clock game, I would usually get to the field around 1-something, so what's that, 6 hours before the game, so not too much of a change. They just want guys, there's some guys that get to the stadium so early, they sit around, they play cards all day, um, so this will deter some of that, I guess. Reporters need to hurry up too, they must leave the ballpark within one hour upon conclusion of post-game interviews. The injured list for all players this season will be 10 days. Clubs will open the season with 30 players until the 15th day of the season. 28 players until the 28th day, and 26 for the duration. There will be no expanded roster in September. So that's all we got. I am pumped up to watch some baseball here. Hopefully nothing happens over the next month, and we start on time to get this season going. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel, and we will talk to you later.